Hey, my name is Jimmy DiMaggio. I'm an attorney in Lafayette and also do photography, outdoor photography, and really enjoy doing it. It's uh, been a joy. When did you first start working with photography? Well, not that long ago. Probably, you know, on a more serious basis in the last four years. You know, I've always taken pictures in, in the swamp or in the marsh, but, you know, got serious about it about four years ago. What has been your favorite Louisiana scene to photograph? I think the sunsets in the Chafla Basin, and of course there's so many different venues. I mean, the Chafla Basin covers so many, you know, miles that in different locations, different vistas, different venues. So I love them all. I love them all. But the basin is something special. There's a certain feeling and warmth there with a sunset and a sunrise, of course, too. Among your works, which one is your favorite and why? That's a hard question. I love them all, you know, but uh, uh, I say uh, I like this one the best. So Cypress. That's uh, Cypress. That's alone by itself in the in the swamp in Henderson, Louisiana. What are the biggest influences on your work? Well, there's so many great photographers. Uh, you know, Greg Girard, C. C. Lockwood. Everybody knows those fellows because they're really so so great, and they've been in, they've been very uh, influential to me. I've read their books. I've seen their prints and images and very proud to don't know them personally and poor poor Greg's no longer with us but uh did know Greg and uh great people what inspires and motivates you well like I say um the beauty of it but you know it started off just fishing and hunting in the swamp or in the marshes and you know as I got a little bit older I said you know I'm going to kick back a little bit and examine the the landscape look at the sunrise sunsets I might not see them uh, you never know. So uh, that's been my inspiration and kind of saying, look, let's, you can always catch a fish next week. Let's, you're not going to see this sunset again. Why do you do what you do? Well, I'm an attorney, so I work hard in that, uh, in that profession. So it's always good to find a transition you know, on, your, on your off time. And we're lucky to be, in, I live in Lafayette, so I'm lucky to be relatively close to the Chafala Basin and in the marshes of Pamillion Parish. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's what I like to do in my spare time, too. How has your work changed over time? Well, I don't have that long of a, of a ruler on it, but uh, it's, I, I've been lucky and fortunate to uh, have Herman Meir, who's my curator, who does a, who's given me a lot of advice and who's such an uh, excellent fine arts uh, individual that I've learned a lot from him and, and just on different ways to take photographs but you know uh, I'd have to say that he's been a great influence and I've improved a lot since knowing Herman yeah did you ever consider photographing anything that you have not already yeah um, the other day I was in um, Acadia Parish actually in Roberts Cove and saw the Cajun prairie lands and I, I was it was right around sunset, so I got a good look at that, and I think that might be my next project. In addition to continuing to take uh, photos of the basin and the marshes, I think the, uh, the Cajun prairie land needs to be looked at closer with some good photo photo uh, photography. So this kind of covers my next pro My next question was, do you have any future projects? Yeah, work? well, that would be it. It would be uh, Acadia, Jefferson Davis Parish, uh, Vermillion, some of the prairie lands, uh, try to take some good landscape photographs there. What do you hope to convey to people through your work? Thank you, that's a good question. And I'd like to convey that this is a resource, a natural treasure that we have, and not literally in our backyard, uh, the Chafla Basin, again, all the marshes of, of our state. And they're not gonna, they're, they're threatened right now. Ecologically, there's challenges to the swamps in the basin. And I hope everybody would take a greater interest in, in preserving that, uh, that this beautiful uh, natural resource that we have. That would be my, my primary hope. Is there anything else you would like to say about your work that we didn't cover? Well, no, and I'm just so helpful, thankful to have this opportunity at the Louisiana State Archives to the, the great uh, opening, uh, arms open welcome that they've given me and allowed me to have this exhibit here. It's just, I'm humbled by that and I, I thank the people here, along with everybody else has been uh, helpful to me. Absolutely, well we're, we're very lucky to have you. So, so thank nice, you. thank you very much.